Hello and welcome back to the Misfits Podcast. Rated five stars on iTunes by ya boy Jay Smith. Hey. Okay. He says, hello and welcome back to another episode of the Misfits Podcast. Rated five stars on iTunes by ya boy Jay Smith. Ooh. He says, hello and welcome back to another episode of the Misfits Podcast. Rated five stars on iTunes by ya boy Jay S- It goes on for a while, but That's you, you get the point. Whoa. <laughs> I'm joined today by my co-hosts. Mick uh, <laughs> Creamy, a.k.a. AJ. What's going on, everyone? Swagger Souls. Hello. Mason, aka Suckles. What's up? And of course, Toby on the telly. Hello. Well. And I'm Fitz. I'm here to guide you through uh, our wonderful adventure today. Um, starting with Jay. Jay's got some exciting news. Fitz is actually back on the podcast. <laughs> He's alive. <laughs> yeah, exciting. I'm, alive. Woo! I'm, I'm still a bit sick, but here yeah. I am. We were here in Manager Ryan's yep. ground floor. Yeah, that last <laughs> podcast was a real train wreck. The one with, uh, what was his name? The billionaire's son. Billionaire's son. Yeah, exactly. uh, like Robbie? The billionaire's yeah. son's dad's son. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. I haven't listened to it yet. We did get up to quite a few shenanigans uh, did. the week that we met Bobby. Um, mm-hmm. Bobby Meisner, of course. If you didn't listen to the last episode, check it out. Uh, but we had a week in the Gold Coast, or mm-hmm. I guess mm-hmm. Byron Bay, which is it was, technically New South Wales. It was like Queensland, New South yeah. Wales New South kind of yeah. thing. Yeah, sort of just like on the border. Type. Mm. Oh yeah, we also had that um that little that little cheeky uh, show we went to the other the other week as well, Mason. Remember that? What Should show? we talk about oh. that? Dom Dollar. Dom Dollar. Oh yeah, yeah talk yeah, about that. I want to hear how that, that was good. That was. I just actually remember that now. All right. Well, that's kind of where it, I mean that week started that whole week for me was kind of a bender mm-hmm. so um let's dive into it <laughs> <laughs> let's dive right in <laughs> so me and mason knew that we were going to dom dollar we've been playing it for a while dom dollar for those of you who don't know is an australian house producer just makes like a lot of bangers and uh <laughs> you paid for my ticket thanks for for doing that by the way <laughs> you're so welcome mason. Yeah. You're so welcome. he lost a uh crunker 1v1 to uh what's the guy's name oh yeah fuck if i know yeah, oh it was yeah a, it was actually a bit that. it was a bit it was a bet. It was, it was a, a bet. bet. Oh, I was in, I was in the den um, playing Crunker on the land setup, and Mason was watching me, and I was like, "Look, if I don't get the highest score, he thought he was so good. If I don't get the him. highest score, I'll give you a hundred bucks." Because I, I was just like popping off, and I thought that I, could, I yeah. could get it. Just got completely crushed by this random kid. <laughs> just destroyed me. I was on full tilt, and Mason was just ribbing me. And uh, so all of a sudden, I owe him a hundred bucks. I, I like, seem to recall Fitz also going, "Nah, double or nothing, double or nothing." No, that was me. I was, <laughs> that was you, yeah, and I was like, "Nah, yeah. nah," because no, he yeah. was playing like shit. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, so I lost. I paid for your ticket to Dom Dollar, which was a great day, wouldn't you say, Mason? Oh, fantastic! Matt was there as well, actually, but yeah. Matt is still absent. Um, <laughs> MIA. <laughs> he's still MIA, uh, but he'll be back shortly. I'm sure. Fingers crossed. Anyways, Dom Dollar. Dom Dollar. <laughs> so, I don't know if many of you guys in the audience have been to many, you know, festivals or many electronic music shows, but uh, it's pretty common when you go to these shows to do a certain little something. Mm. Anyone know what that something is? Any Ooh. takers? Oh, 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 oh like oh, uh, like oh, like disco oh, bickies. Like Dr. No. Like Dr. Oh. Robotnik once said, "Meth pingers." Pingers. <laughs> uh, yes, a uh, little bit of MDMA. Uh, which is a naughty drug, um, but one that I was sort of curious to try. One that I thought that I would kind of never do, I yeah. think. But then I think from hearing from other people's experiences and just sort of reading up a little bit on the risk versus reward yeah. and what it's all about, I was like, you know what? I do want to experience this. And I, you know, That's there's cool. no better place to do it than a live show uh, with great music. Um, you obviously had already done it before. We talked about it on the podcast. What's that? I was killing a bug. <laughs> I'm talking about MD, mate. Pingers, fucking the gear mate, cunt. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah fucking oath. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, day comes around. It's a Saturday, a beautiful Saturday, and uh, we're keen, and we go to Dom Dollar, and we... So yeah. we spent, so like we had this whole day to spare and we yeah. started off at Matt's house because we just all wanted to hang out and like eat food and mm-hmm. all that before we went. And um, we had a bit of a few pre uh, cheeky lines, <laughs> yeah. Just, you know, just a couple uh, half ones, you know, little ones just to get the party started. Just to get the party started. Had some mate. tunes on, yeah. And then we call the Uber and we start heading there. The show starts at around we we, we hit like what three p.m. four yeah, p.m. For, yeah, three. So four. the afternoon, just a gorgeous fucking day. The spirits were high. Everyone was feeling really good. We get to the place and uh, yeah, I mean. It was pretty... I kind of knew once we saw the arena that it was just going to be a good night because mm. the vibe was good. The it was end- very empty when we first got in. Yeah, but that was just because there were just a couple like pre-acts. We got, there, we, got there, we got there pretty early. The show didn't start till like eight, the real show. Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. we just had a nice little time hanging out in the sun and meeting a few people and chatting. And then, yeah, the time come and we 
drop the cab. <laughs> well, yeah, you actually so, did two immediately. So the thing is, <laughs> what the, fuck? the thing is, the plan was supposed to be that we're going to take our cab when we got there after yeah. a while. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then wait till later in the event and take another. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Like space yeah, yeah, yeah. them out. And mm-hmm. so I don't know what happened. That must have just gone over my head or something. <laughs> yes, because we went to the bathrooms and we were all going. And uh, my dumbass must have just thought, oh, yeah, okay, we're Ooh, doing them now. Then. Yummy. <laughs> so walk into the bathroom, um, fucking swallow them both, come out. And I'm like, all right, I took mine. And so I think someone's like, mine? What do you mean? Like several? So I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, we only took one. And then they're like, we only took one. And I'm like, oh, fuck. Yeah. Are you fuck kidding me? me. You're joking. We like, you know, How? I was, yeah, I was also planning on doing two, but I was saving mine for the rest of the, like, the end of the night. Yeah. yeah. You just did them both right off the bat. How, like, powerful are they? Are they. It was some good fucking pingers, man. I'm gonna lie. Yeah. <laughs> like, what, what was it like on two? Or just did you have, like, a. Well, well like. Your Amber? What happened? So, so, like, <laughs> what the fuck? So, like, uh, my, so, like, I was like, on the come up and shit <coughs> and like 20 minutes in i was like smoking cigarettes yeah mm. and it got i was fine i was doing fine and then like i stopped smoking and then it got like i got like two and maybe 40 minutes in mm. so they would have dissolved in my like in yeah, my yeah, system yeah. yeah and i fucking then i just started feeling really nauseous and like the taste of the oh, cigarette came back to my throat shit. yeah and then like we're on the dance floor and i just started like feeling really dizzy and shit and i was like oh fuck i think i might throw up really and then i just went yeah. You did, so you did munt everywhere yeah yeah, yeah. So immediately like a circle just formed like around him where everyone just kind of got out of his way and oh. started throwing up on the grass yeah dude oh. i was i felt so bad i was like no dude. on the dance floor with a bunch of people around you it was yeah. it was outdoors so it's yeah. it on grass oh but, easy yeah like it was right. yeah by the end of the night everyone was dancing on mason's vomit like yeah <laughs> dude yeah that shit seeped in nicely <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just stomped into the ground yeah hey. mm. shit that sounds but crazy other than that i was I, I was pretty cut because I thought I lost my caps and I was like, oh, oh true, like I throwing them up. Thought my night was ruined, but um, nah, man, I was. <laughs> you definitely <laughs> were set sailed. Fine. Yeah, yeah. Set sailed. Did you feel better after you threw up? Huh? You throw? You feel better after you threw up? Oh yeah, dude. Like, oh fuck, I was. You went and just had a lie down, didn't you? Yeah, yeah I was like, yeah, I just needed a lie, lie down water, and I just got straight back up and started dancing. <laughs> yeah, there's the spirit. What does MDMA actually like feel like when you're at a festival like that? What does it do? It's it's curious because I almost feel like it's it's one of those things where you just sort of have to. I don't know. A lot of drugs, it feels you can definitely feel like a foreign presence inside of you, right. and it's kind of taken over and changing your mood. MD sort of very much felt to me like um, it was almost as if I'd always felt this way, but like it was just I felt great. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it yeah, didn't yeah, feel yeah. intrusive. It didn't feel like um, it took too much control over me. I just felt fucking great. Yeah. The music just felt amazing. Like very euphoric. You know. Yeah. Um, wow got you you get very chatty you know you start telling your friends you love them and shit and hugging yeah. and stuff it was plenty of that which is wholesome, wholesome and good time mm. and the sun was going down and we'd oh. kind of just been soaking in the rays yeah, all day yeah, as yeah. well so i was just absolutely loving it just having a boogie i mean it's not much else to say about yeah. that and they would just dance the fuck you know like really hard and uh yeah by the end of it we were still buzzing and <laughs> yeah we just had a couple of cheeky, cheeky dabs when we got back as well. <laughs> a couple of, fuck me just sat around on the floor chatting and he yeah. didn't just have a couple of cheeky dabs when he came back he also had more md did what I, did you oh so yeah did you. oh yeah, yeah. I did. <laughs> yeah. Wait, well there was we i mean i don't know where it came from but we just found an extra cap and then no i bought it off someone oh, yeah yeah okay. and matt and mason were like oh we want to split this yeah so you split that and then i licked the chopping board <laughs> Did you actually lick the like, chocolate? Oh my god, you just eat it, bro. You just eat it. So yeah, just, I just ate my up. drugs and then I was I was set for the That's great night. So funny. Just ate a couple of drugs. It's no big deal, guys. Uh, by the way, don't do the shit if you're under it's eighteen. Like licking the spoon. I'm not recommending it. I'm just saying it was fucking sick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not oh, recommending God. it, but I recommend it. That's a joke. That's a joke. Oh, of Listen, like, make sure you test your shit. Make of sure course. Everything. MDMA is one of those drugs that I never really had an interest in trying. Dude, when I was like... Until now. When I was, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when, when I was like on that come up and like, I was like low key freaking out a little bit. Yeah. When, when I was about to throw up in that because I was like, nah, this isn't the right feeling. But because I was on MD as well, mm. I was like, like, oh, I don't know. It was like a numb feeling. Yeah, well, you just took too much too quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's the thing. Like, it pays you, to be careful. And you can overdose on MDMA, can't you? Yeah, yeah. probably. Yeah. It's, it, it's neurotoxic, I think, in large amounts. 
Yeah, it would probably take a little more than what you did, but it, yeah, definitely it, you, mm-hmm. it can be very I mean, it dangerous. Gets, so. It gets dangerous around to seven mark. Seven cash. Se- People take seven. Pe- dude, there was a but guy at the club what's last the point, night. Though? Dude, there was a guy at a club Dude. last night. He was on fire. So you can see in the dark with giant <laughs> pupils. Cunts are just fucked and they just love you. Probably too It'll probably yeah. be people developing a tolerance to it. Ah, mm. uh, yeah. So they need to take the, more yeah. and more. The thing that I think would be more dangerous, especially because it's not like you can go to a dispensary and buy pure MDMA. Mm-hmm. You're buying it off of sketchy cunts yeah, in exactly. the street that it's have almost, mullets. It's and, almost always cut with something. Yeah, yeah dude. Like... Uh, you know, it could be laced with speed, yeah. fucking meth. It could, it could be laced with a yeah. lot of different shit. Which and it is often why is when you get it in the scary club. As fuck. Yeah, you, you don't buy. You don't buy fucking MD unless you actually know. And and if you do buy MD, you should test it. Yeah, hundred percent. Hundred percent. How do you Drug, test it? Uh, you get. You can buy test kits. Yeah, you get test kits. Uh, I know for acid, there's reagent testing kits. You can right. tell whether or not it's actually purely LSD or not. But if right. you're not a pussy, you test it by <laughs> taking it. You give some to your dog or your cat. You see if they're all right. <laughs> little and then, brother. And then, and then you know, if, if they don't die, then you're fine. Yeah, your so, little brother. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, there are definitely real dangers with it. And mm-hmm. it's definitely something that should be taken, you know, not lightly. It should oh, be taken yeah. pretty seriously. 100%. You should prepare Extreme for it. caution. Yeah. You should Set pre- and setting. Prepare for it. Make sure you're, you're good. Make sure you got mm. water. Make sure you got gum or whatever you need. Good to, friend group around good you. Good friend group around good you. Music. If you're good under music. the age of 18, get fucked. Don't yeah. do drugs. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But, you know, if you are over the age and, you know, you take the right precautions, I believe it can be enjoyed responsibly, as most mm. things in life yeah. can be. Yes. Um, and that was what this night was, at least for me. <laughs> you did throw up, but yeah, it's yeah, right. it was a it mistake. Was a, uh, you it was good from it. that you had a good time mm. instead of a bad time. Yes. And you also, one thing to add is that you shouldn't do it too closely, like, apart. You shouldn't do, like, MD every fucking no. weekend or whatever. Oh, That's no, very no, bad. No very, very bad. I don't know what the recommended space in is, but, yeah, you should definitely that, not that, make a habit. It, or, like, gets rid of all your serotonin, right? Yes. And well, because, I'm not sure if it's serotonergic. I think it might be. I think it is. It just. I think, you. yeah, you feel you are devoid of serotonin. So like what happens if you day. take it when you don't have any serotonin? You develop serotonin syndrome, I think. You'll, be, you'll, you'll die. You'll, you'll be I don't insanely know. depressed it's like, for the next month. Well, five that's, weeks. well that's why people, uh, like people don't take LSD or mushrooms or anything serotonergic because uh, if they're also taking uh, medication like oh, antidepressants, true, true, true. Uh, it's... SSRIs, mm. then they, they could fucking kill themselves. Yeah. Yeah. That's so, fucked. you know, it's important. Drug safety is very important. Very important. And also super pog because then you get to enjoy some drugs and yeah. you get to have a great time. And, <laughs> mm-hmm. some, and you don't have to yeah. worry about overdosing or any of that shit. Yeah. And uh, interesting enough, the next day was the day we were supposed to fly to the Gold Coast to mm. meet Bobby and to shoot this video that was. Was it Suicide so Sunday? Uh, you well, guys were so good no, like I, really yeah that's the thing because with md normally you would experience quite a heavy come down the next day or if not the day after mm. i completely seem to have skipped that yeah i just felt i just had a great afterglow i just that's it that's what i, I meant like you I was guys in a permanent were state of booking for like <laughs> yeah, three yeah, days yeah, yeah. i just had my bluetooth yeah, headphones crazy. on so. well it was good it was good for you guys to go immediately from like you know, taking MDMA and then you come down being going on a plane, going to Gold Coast, doing yeah. shit, being yeah. in a completely different setting. Yeah. And I, I feel like that did wonders for your come down. Because yeah. <laughs> most of the time, w- what I hear is people after they take MDMA, the next day they're fucked just yeah. completely. Yeah. Depressed, you know, anxious, just completely devoid of joy. Yeah, I mean, weed and friends definitely helps a lot. It's mm-hmm. all about sort of your... If you're just alone in your house after a yeah, day of MD, dude. you're probably going to feel pretty decrepit. I yeah. Think. But yeah. because like we sort of just continued the bender and, <laughs> you know, we were just smoking weed and it was like a nice cozy flight and had some tunes, it was it was fine. Fucking so nice. yeah, anyway, all of a sudden we find ourselves on the Gold Coast um, and it's hot as fuck, it's muggy as fuck. We it was oh, went, gross muggy. as fuck. When you, you think of the Gold Coast, you think sunshine, sunshine. beaches... Babes, and none of that, that when we visited. <laughs> what? No, it had sunshine, beaches, and babes. It was just also muggy as fuck and, and rain. rainy. It was. It, I remember we landed after that flight, and I look at the, I, I look at the my uh, my weather app, and it just showed rain hmm. for the entire week, thunderstorms all the way throughout the week. But at the same time, it was hot. <laughs> it yes. was so, so it was muggy. like thirty Gross. degrees, dude. So pretty gross weather, but we did have an insane place to stay at for the first time. Really, night. No. Yeah. insane, crazy, cool view. Like, uh, uh, just uh, the, uh, I think up. it was either Q one or Q two, but it's the tallest building in mm. I think Queensland. I think I think that's right. And yeah, yeah we were on like 
a, f- a penthouse apartment pretty much it was insane. On, in that building. 73rd floor yeah. it was very cool yeah, it was very great we went to dinner that night and the restaurant just had the best tunes going which oh, was perfect oh, for me yeah. food was insane the food was well. insane oh, oh, dude. they still had like deep house tunes yeah. playing oh, it was yeah. vibing man so good we ate so much we food had, that night <laughs> we had some Kobe beef and it was like the waiter was like this is like the most exclusive beef yeah. you like can't get this anywhere else in Australia and holy mm, shit, it was, it was good. I dunked that Insane. bitch in so much ketchup. So tastes so good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> salt. Uh, covered in mayo. Mayo, mm, ketchup, perfect. salt. Yikes. Medium well, covered in mayo. Just how I like dude. my premium yeah, wagyu. Well done, <laughs> dude. I like it well done. No, well, well done. done. Well done, wagyu <laughs> steak. Yikes. It was no. so good, though. But I, that night, we all went to sleep. It was cool. We chilled out in the balcony. Yeah. Uh, I, I, we, we only had the stizzy. Uh, for for weed, a stizzy is just a weed vape little, pen. Little weed vape <laughs> yeah. pen. So, but yeah, yeah. yeah, we had a chill night. Bad. I crashed very hard, and I woke up the next day feeling well rested. Yeah, and everyone then, uh, was so tired that day. Yeah, well, we were meant. We we were told that checkout was at eleven, when checkout was actually at ten. So then we wake up. Matt wakes me up uh, mm. and goes, "Hey, like, uh, checkout's here. You have to pack everything and go." And I was having flashbacks to when we got kicked <laughs> out of our <laughs> fucking. You know, was, yeah. you know what's so funny though? <laughs> you guys thought checkout was at eleven. But you still didn't get out of the hotel room until like 11.30. Oh, honestly, I just didn't give a single Fitz. fuck about anyone. Fitz, 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 <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. Fitz, Fitz took his sweet ass time. Um, just, just, you were taking a shower and packing your shit. We were all ready. And this lady, the, the ladies outside, the, the cleaners, <laughs> were banging on the door saying, Sir, sir, please, like, we, need a, we need a clean. And I'm like, hey, it'll be like another 10 minutes. Like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Two hours and we finally later. go out. You, you, you come out just in time. You grab your bag, we're walking through, and the lady starts scolding us, yeah. going, uh, like, oh, like, check out was, was 30 minutes ago. Like, you know, you guys, you know, I'm we lagging. have to do our job. And then you said, like, uh, what did you say? I was like, sorry, I fell asleep in the shower. Yeah, <laughs> you're, you're like, like, yeah. Like, he's, he's like, sorry, I fell asleep, sleep in the shower. It was f- fucked up. Or yeah, 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 and then you say, a couple up. caps will do that to you. Yeah, yeah. I say, a couple <laughs> caps do that to you. I didn't actually fall asleep in the shower. <laughs> I was just sort of incapable of feeling concerned about things that morning. Just fair enough. Which is odd for me, because normally I would be like, oh, no, I don't want to keep them waiting. I yeah. would normally be very considerate, but... I was just like, they'll wait. Like, what are they going to do? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was just taking my time in the shower, packing my things. So we good. eventually got out. You know, uh, everyone yeah, was fine. it wasn't a nightmare. It was Not fine. a nightmare at all. It was fine. They were very lovely, actually. Uh-huh. Um, and yeah, and then we collect downstairs and we get in a van yep. to drive to Byron Bay, which mm-hmm. is our mm-hmm. Where the Hemsworths live. The Hemsworth. The Hemsworth. What is that? Guy. The Chris Hemsworth. The Thor, whatever yeah. his name is. Oh, he lives yeah, there? He lives yeah, there. I think so. It was 30 oh. minutes from where we were staying. It's where all the rich people live. Yeah. Was he like trying to evade us like why didn't he come yeah over? it was kind of fucked up you yeah, hit him he, up and he just he ghosted responded. us yeah anyway one day we'll get him yeah we'll get him <laughs> <laughs> he won't fit on the set but we'll <laughs> get him uh <laughs> anyway we have a nice road trip to byron bay bluetooths are on good tunes mm. we get to byron bay and we find ourselves well, like, first, well we get a bit lost don't we yeah, yeah. we, we yeah. get a bit lost we're on these dirt roads driving through this what just looked like dense rainforest. It yeah. was fucking surreal, dude. It looked like I was like in a primitive technology video. I was waiting Speaking for a guy with a mustache with a shirt off to fucking run through the forest <laughs> trying to grab turkeys. I mean, when you went for a piss. Oh yeah, <laughs> dude. Okay, just for just for this some guy. just for some fucking uh, just for some context here. I have a condition, and it's and it's not a, a, a rare condition. A lot of people have it. It's called shy bladder syndrome. If anybody, it's, it's completely <laughs> real. Like, I can have to. Being a bitch. I can have to piss so bad. Like for example, when we went to uh, the footy with your with your uncle Mace, yeah. and I had to go to the bathroom, and the entire bathroom was just a wall with the urinal on it, and I had to wait for a fucking stall. I could not. I went up to the urinal, dude, and I was busting for a piss. I had three beers. I could not. It hmm. could not release my urethra. Just fucking goes. <laughs> <laughs> like that whenever <laughs> whenever so, whenever somebody if it, it, like it, it's like the feeling of being watched makes me so nervous then i then i can't like my my urethra just won't fucking open you you the flood gates won't even open. though no one's really watching you you just I, feel like I, everyone's like, I, I know but, that, but that's the weird thing so i had to piss pretty bad in the in the van and so i get out and I'm trying to piss. There's like nowhere to step. I can't go into the bushes. I'm afraid I'm going to get fucking bitten by a mamba. There, just, and there my were plenty of places you could have gone. Yeah, fucking bush. Literally dude, it was forest. an entire bush, but it was fucking <laughs> flooded, dude. And I was no, wearing easy. There was a massive tree that you could have gone around. Oh, no, dude, it was, I was afraid of mamba biting me and turning my blood to jelly. But either way, oh um, you guys do like this little.
little thing where you where you try to drive away to scare me, and I was actually relieved because I thought you guys were going to go down the road and I'd be able to take my piss. <laughs> and then you guys turned around, and I was like, "Fuck, I can't do it now." And then I had to go uh, behind a tree, and it was a nightmare. And then but I hopped out of the car and started yeah, taking we a closer all, look. We yeah, I, I, giving him so much. Yeah, shit. I reckon I reckon I got yeah I got the whole thing out that time. But then on the way back, we we did the same thing. I hopped out. Uh, to pee, I think that was on the way to the airport or something, mm -hmm. with Mace, uh, and uh, I, I managed to get half of it out, and then wow. I was just fucking froze. Welcome out. back to Proud Man vs. Wild with yeah. the yeah. the bladder up there. Day three, I, I, I could probably <laughs> live in the wilderness alone with nobody else for three days That's until funny. his bladder explodes. Yeah. <laughs> It's a fucking no. ant watching me, dude. <laughs> but no, if you're in the audience and you have a similar uh, condition, <laughs> grow up. <laughs> uh, anyway, so we get to the, eventually. No, but for, we, oh yeah, we, we get like, lost. The the way to <laughs> Google Maps one took us the wrong to the wrong place. I think there was like two entrances because this was a massive yeah, it was resort like Airbnb compound. And I think one of the entrances you couldn't actually access. Yeah. So it took us to this wrong to the wrong place. But to get to that place that we drove to. It was like this really thin dirt road with rocks all over it and stuff. Sketchy as that fuck. Would, there was people coming from both directions, mm, we, even though it was like a, very clearly a one-lane road. It was a skinny it was so ass road. It was so sketchy. And a cliffs cliff, on the other side. It was on a fucking cliff base. You, you look out to your right, you're driving down the road, you fucking, you know, you, you, you could see the ocean from the top of that cliff. We were like fucking 50 miles in land. Yeah. I was shitting myself, dude. <laughs> and Ryan was making a point of hitting every single yeah. bump every and crevice on the road. Every single fucking <laughs> Was, yeah. Because like there were a bunch of trees growing out of the side of the cliff, but I was convinced that if we rolled off, like just the fucking gravity pull in that giant van with fucking like twenty cunts in it would have just fucking gone all the way down. Oh yeah, we'd die. We'd yeah, easily die. Would have been a good vlog. Yeah, unfortunately we didn't die and we got there safely. Yeah, boring. Uh, um, we're so and, shit at content. God, we suck. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, we pull up to this place, and I I don't know about you guys, but I was not expecting it to be that sick no, not at neither. all no it, it, how do we describe this place it was it was basically just a resort it was like, fucking ridiculous when you were there it felt like you were in like hawaii or yeah. something yeah, yeah, yeah. It felt like a, exactly. like a giant log cabin mansion yeah it everything had, was made out of timber and uh there were there were two houses one was to the left one was to the right they and were was connected like, with these like uh boards like these dock bridges, kind yeah. of bridge things um, a big garden, a, a fucking golf court, uh, not not tennis golf, court, yeah, tennis, tennis court, court, pool, giant yeah. pool, gym, flying yeah, fox. Yeah, yeah. The gym was cool a boxing ring in the gym. Crazy. Yeah. There's a flying fox, and yes. if you're American like me, that's just a zip line. Um, I'm gonna call it a flying fox. Imagine not calling it a flying. You guys fox. said I, I you, you guys it. said, "Look, there's a flying fox," and I went, "What? <laughs> Where? <laughs> Where? Is actually thought, just a flying fox?" Well, I thought it was you were talking about like, the sugar gliders <laughs> or something. I don't know. And then. Uh, well, fucking what else? It was a giant, massive pond, which the flying fox went over. Just a shit ton of land, basically. Mm, yeah. um, it was real big. Yeah, I have no idea how much it cost. I'm, I'm wincing at the thought of how much it might have been. But I, I don't think it was that bad, actually, because at the end of the day, it was kind of just in the middle of fucking nowhere. Yeah. So. We were only there for three days. And we were only there for three days. Uh, but no, we were very blessed to be staying in this insane Crazy. resort like log palace. Mm. Um, and we get there. Mm -hmm. What happened that first day? It was kind of chill. You and I played a lot of piano. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was a piano. Some tunes going on. Big old piano. Oh, hopefully that will. Re oh, we recorded everything, by the way, and there mm -hmm. will be a video coming out. I think um, it's going to be the f like a really funny fucking video. I think so too. Yeah. And it was interesting because halfway through the trip, I was sort of thinking like, oh, this isn't going to be good nervous, content. Yeah. Or we just didn't think the content was like it didn't feel like a video. You know, yeah, we were doing it. it felt like we got a bunch of random shit, but it didn't really feel like a good video. And as soon as we stopped like trying to force content, yeah. shit just happened naturally. Yeah, it was funny as we well. always get so lucky. Every time. <laughs> we always yeah. get so lucky. So you can look forward to that video in like two years. Yeah. Um, <laughs> 2022. Hey, hey, dude, we got that. We got the fucking TwitchCon video coming out real soon. That's true. That's we, true. How many months has that been? Yeah, but I don't know. The, the thing about the thing about the TwitchCon video is uh, there's a lot of shit missing. Yeah. Like, I don't know if you guys have seen the footage, but hey, yeah. very, 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 very little was recorded because mm. all the cameramen were drinking and partying. Yes. So but nothing really got filmed. We, we will learn from our mistakes and, you know, we are getting better at getting content. We're yeah. getting better at filming and we're getting better oh, at being well, on camera if this, and all that. If this trip was any indication, dude, like we, we made so many bits mm -hmm. out, yeah. of, out of just 
Oh, should we even spoil the bits? We can we, pump out content. That's that was crazy. I dude. mean, the podcast has always been a spoiler for the videos. Easy, I think it's fine. We'll yeah. talk about what happened the first day. Um, so yeah, we played a lot of piano. We're just making up random. We, we songs. put a like GoPro on the piano and just sat there. Fitz and I were singing and playing piano, yeah, which was a, a lot, lot of fun. fun. Mm-hmm. And then we went to check out the gym, and me and Mason <laughs> did a little boxing, yeah. man. A little oh, sparring shit. match. Yeah. Someone's like, "Oh, Fitz, get in the ring with Mason." I was like, "All right, well, fine." I'll, yeah, I'll you didn't. You didn't. You didn't think it was going to be like a legit thing. You thought it was just going to be play fun. I didn't know what it was going to be, but I put the gloves on and I was like, yo, getting stunned stuff. Mate, so standing there like Mace. fucking ready to yeah. kill him. Like, <laughs> to He's really to kill me right Did you now. not see me lumber up, mate? I saw you lumbering up, but I didn't... I, lumbering up? Saw, <laughs> you mean limbering up? <laughs> lumbering. Fucking like actual wooden person. <laughs> Turns into a plank. <laughs> um, no, I don't know. I don't know what we were doing. I thought we were just fucking around. And then next well, thing you know, boop, yeah, I was, the nose. I was going to oh. say, like right before you guys started, you were in the opposite corners. And I was going to say something like, all right, guys, body shots only. But I, I was like, oh, no, they know, they know that. Yeah, Isn't I was like, like surely I was like, yeah, it's the only one his face fucking swing. Mason, he hit you right in the fucking in. dome. Straight in the nose. And then you just go, nope, no, I'm done. <laughs> nope. I'm done. Well, I, I, yeah. I did not want to get beaten up. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you did best me on that. You did I best me. I want to hit you, mate. One, one day, one of these days, I'll get you, bro. One of these days, I'll get you back. You basically sucker punched him. Yeah, yeah. Practically, <laughs> no, practically <laughs> sucker punched pretty, him. Pretty cool. You just that. sucker punched me. You sucker punched me, and I was. I just happened to be making eye contact with you at the time. What, what the fuck that? was that what sound? What was that? I think we just unlocked an achievement. <laughs> um, <laughs> Level up. <laughs> um, yes, but that was fun. It didn't hurt that bad after five minutes. It, it didn't even hurt. Like, <laughs> yeah, you should just be more prepared, to be honest. I, you know what, Mason? You're right. Don't never let your guard down you're too right. hard, mate. I, I learned a valuable lesson Damn, that afternoon. Damn, from Mason. Yeah, e- sure. Even when you're hanging out with your friends, never let your guard down because yeah. they might just punch you in the face. <laughs> exactly so, right. So I've learned. So that was pretty much day one. Yeah, I mean, was, I mean well, it was, it we just got on the piss. Sure, didn't didn't we? we just got on the piss. No, didn't drinking. didn't the dinner the, that first dinner happen on day one? Mm-hmm. Which mm-hmm. had the mm, I think which, that oh actually I think, I think that, that was, was day, day one. one. Yeah, yeah, what yeah. Dinner? which dinner? The dinner where we found the we had a visitor. Uh, we had a, we had another person come in. Came in through the outdoor. Yeah, what? The spider. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> that we, was day we, one. We cooked a fucking big old dinner. Yeah, we that ate was day it, one. and then we, we I, mean Brian. <laughs> yeah, Brian cooked a giant dinner, and we we after we all ate it, there was a fucking massive spider. What, like like that. I, big, I, I reckon huge. it was a wolf spider. Yeah. It was about the same size as the fucking spider we saw in Sydney. Yeah. To put it, it was way bigger than that. It was bigger than that. For the audio listeners, it was about this big. <laughs> yeah. Um, to to put it into big. context, uh, uh, most of the crew is Australian and all of them said it was the biggest spider they've ever seen. Yes. I'm pretty sure I was the only person in the house who has seen a bigger spider than that. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'd never seen anything bigger like, than that. Oh, that's crazy. It was it was fucking huge. It was, I huge. It. It it was, was bigger than this little piglet. <laughs> Brian, Brian oh. surely bring him over. Oh, Brian is just walking oh, to the room. Shit. Speaking of wildlife. Wildlife. Oh it's my the newest god. Edition. He's probably not in focus that close. It's but. a little burrito. Oh, oh, it's a little down. fucking sausage. What, what we're looking at here, audio listeners, is Ryan's Ryan and Sam's brand new. French bulldog uh, puppy. He's it's the cutest good. thing ever. His name is Slime. Piglet. And he's Slime just the a, Frenchie. He's just everyone's yeah. favorite right now. He's getting so much attention here at Ryan's oh. house. He's got yep, a, that's my phone. He's, yep. he's got a little Instagram page. His name is sl- at Slime the Frenchie. Yes. Oh, come over here. Slime. Look at him. He's the cutest thing. He's with a little burrito. You'll have to check it out on YouTube, guys, if you want to see it. Uh, so so cute. We're all very legend. fond of him. Holy shit. A small bean. It's so cute. Oh, he's Thank, you, Ryan. Ryan. Thank, Thank you, Ryan. Thank you, Ryan. Clout farmer. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we we someone was walking out of the room and they just look. I think it was Blue. Blue was filming and he was walking out of the room. And he just goes, "Holy shit!" He looks above yes. the door and everyone runs over and there's just this <laughs> fucking huge spider. It was like the size now, of a dinner plate. Now, sure. Me and Mason were outside just having a bong and we just heard everyone start screaming. Yeah. One, one thing that we forgot to mention about this Airbnb or, or rather this like resort we were staying at was that it came with about seven or eight spears For on the wall. For some reason. Yes. They were, they were they like were, replica spears. Well, like well spear kind well, of thing. The, the size of that house... They probably weren't replicas. They were probably some very expensive antiquity from some place of the world. I doubt it. They weren't sharp. The owner of that house was like... They weren't sharp. You don't know. They wouldn't put anything that expensive in an Airbnb. 
That's that's there was a, a lot of art and shit in there. Yeah, but but we basically <laughs> what, what we're basically attempting to say is that uh, we we took not we but Sam and was it Sam and Blue that that Chris. grabbed the spears? The spears were Sam taken Chris. by Chris. someone or another. Yeah, two and... people grabbed spears and tried yeah. stabbing the spider, and did I uh, and it basically ran in between like yeah. the, the top of the door, almost out of it, and then I slammed the door on it. Oh, then, that's how it died. Yeah, yeah. And, and then it, it, it was it lucky was as fuck. They opened the yeah. door and it just goes, <laughs> and you see it was spider guts It was huge, bro. dude. It popped like a big old pimple. It was and then, covered in cum. Poor yeah. thing. <laughs> covered in cum. And then the next, the next day we see, no one wanted to fucking move the car because there was just a bunch of ants feasting on this little thing. Mm. Epic. Mm, the yeah. cycle of life. There was a lot of yes. spiders in that house. Yeah, there was one in my room. I. Uh, I think it was either that night or the next night. I thought I could walk into my room because I was always inspecting the white walls of my ew, shit to make ew. sure there wasn't a spider there. Mm-hmm. There was just one on the wall, so I fucking took my towel and I went, <laughs> fucking killed it. So Australia <laughs> has this reputation of being like super spider ridden, yeah. but like if you're in a big city like Melbourne or something, you know, yeah, never, never, never see only them. when you're all the way out in the middle of nowhere, yeah, which fucking we, bush, we which we were. We yeah. were just in the bush. It's like, like the of habitat. course they were there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, that was the well, pretty much what happened on the first night. We all went to bed. And fucked. Mm-hmm. <laughs> woke up bright and early the next day, uh, which is the day that we met Bobby, I believe. Yes, I'm pretty sure. House. Yeah, with yes. uh, to his place went in Byron it. Bay. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, we hop back in the van and we drive to what's well, it was just a place where Bobby's dad was staying. Pretty much like yeah. the rental. His rental. And Bobby's dad is a billionaire. Uh, mm-hmm. Just to fill you in, if yeah. those of you who don't know, a literal billionaire. A literal billionaire. Like we asked him on the day how much money he had in his account right now, and he said he had like six hundred million yeah, just sitting something. there. It's like literally something ridiculous, which is just fucking crazy, mm-hmm. right? Which is crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Plus yeah. assets like, and everything, obviously. Yeah, no. Very like nice guy was happy to chilled and chatted yeah. Yeah, so we, down to earth. We chatted to him. We uh, asked him a bunch of questions. He was very. Yeah. It was just, a little little awkward being there wearing a full on helmet <laughs> oh yeah he asked you about yeah, it what he, did he, go, say? He, he said like what's the helmet i go oh, it's part of like my thing it's part of like the character i do on youtube he goes oh okay so you're ugly and i was like <laughs> hey, i'm pretty sure you were like yeah, no i'm not yeah, he was like, no, I'm, right. I'm, I'm not yeah, I was like, i'm not ugly i'm not no. ugly no, no. <laughs> It was crazy though. <laughs> the billionaire whole... convinces Swagger Souls to face reveal. <laughs> <laughs> if you gave me a million, <laughs> you'd do it for a million dollars. I don't know after, about that. After, after, after taxes, yeah, I suppose. Yeah, he was the, he was crazy though. Like you didn't even, you would never expect him to be a billionaire. Yeah, because he was just fucking. He was just in shorts and a in a little t shirt. Yep. Yeah, like, you would flip-flops. never ever expect it. It, so was, weird. it wasn't like a super expensive place he was staying in. It was, it was nice. It was, it was nice. Obviously, he was just chilling out. They yeah. were just chill. They they didn't have crazy cars. He was just in a Hyundai van. It's yeah. pretty boring. <laughs> but uh, he said he said that he um had like. Ryan asked him how frequently he wore a suit and he said he like never wears a I suit. It was like once he said. He said, yeah, well. he said the last time he wore a suit was 30 years ago. Yeah. yeah. And he said before then he just didn't wear them either. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, it was really cool to chat to him. I don't think we really got too much content out of that conversation because well, it was more just chill. Us. We yeah, personally did get a lot of content because we were, we were asking some pro- like really good questions yeah. and stuff. But I don't know if it, he was very, no, very it was, inaudible. It was, yeah, it, was, it, was, it, was hard, it was hard because the audio, like we didn't have him mic'd up. We were yeah. sitting down and, and actually trying to get the audio. Yeah, because we it didn't... Was pretty, ex- it was really impromptu. Well, we, we weren't like prepared him to be there. for it. Yeah. We didn't think he was going to be there. I'm yeah. hoping that some of it's salvageable. Because we can subtitle it. Yeah, it was really, really good, really good. Yeah, it was, was, it was very funny. Stuff. Yeah, we were just chilling with Bobby, and then he goes, "Oh, do you want to meet Dad?" And we're like, "Yeah, um, like yes." Yeah. <laughs> and then he stood there, just he was like, <laughs> "I think he saw the cameras and thought that he was being interviewed." Yeah, because he was just like, "Yeah, so ask me whatever you want." Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was. Oh nice. no, we're here for the billionaire's son. <laughs> yeah, the billionaire's <laughs> son's dad's son. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, that was that little conversation, which was nice, and then Bobby came with us uh to yeah we were trying to figure yeah. out what we met, to do we linked up with one of bobby's friends it was mm-hmm. just a chill guy Before, really just, chill really guy. chill <laughs> real <laughs> chill so you know baked. what i mean so so so, so baked and um and yeah then from there we were like well there's not much to do around yeah. here why don't we just head back to the airbnb because it's pretty hectic crazy there um and so yeah we go back to the airbnb and we're just thinking in the van ride home because bobby and his friend went separately we're just thinking all right how are we gonna like, what's the content we're going to get out of this trip? Like, mm. what can we get up to tonight that'll be good to film and yeah. good to do and good to have fun? And uh, we kind of settled on dinner, I think. Yeah. <laughs> like, we're going to cook dinner. We are going to cook dinner. Like, yeah, yeah. the boys Ice. are going to cook dinner. Over a fire. <laughs> yeah. Over a fucking fire. Yeah, so yeah. by the pool, there was this, like, the radio. It was probably like a meter radius. Yeah. A couple mm. meters. Fire pit. Fire pit. We just filled it with wood, set it alight. Yeah. 
started it cooking got, it away. It got very it worked pretty, alive. It worked pretty well, man. I made some bang old steaks. <laughs> it was, some of those steaks were so good. It was very like uh, mishmashed together. We just had like a random hot plate from Bunnings that was kind of loosely balanced on top of yeah, the logs. it was literally <laughs> on top of a stack of logs that were burning. Yeah, we were just kind of sat around this like smoky campfire throwing sauces on and steaks. <laughs> And then we're like, okay, well, we need to cook a steak for Ryan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll get him the premium Whoa. bit of Wagyu. Yeah, we had the Wagyu. So we had this nice little steak, nice little bit of Wagyu steak. And we're thinking, all right, we'll, we'll cook this. We'll arrange a nice dish. And we'll yeah. serve it to manager Fitz Ryan. Fitz was serving as chef. Yes. Yeah. So, and we were, just, we were just like. We were the Sioux. He was the yeah, head. So exactly. unfortunately, upon taking it out of the package, something alarming happened. Mm. I just immediately dropped it into the fire pit. It was not just it wasn't, into the fire pit. It, it wasn't a mistake. You were simply flavoring. I was simply flavoring. I was just seasoning it in the ash and smoke. Literal ash <laughs> charcoal. It was all <laughs> <laughs> It God was man. so bad. I, I, threw it right the fuck in I, there. You missed oh, it. Oh, yeah, mile. that's right. Because I was trying to throw it on yeah, the hot yeah, plate, yeah. but yeah, I just yeah, fully it missed. Like it was coated in Oreos. Oreos. And it just went <laughs> straight into the fire pit. <laughs> a little dust cloud. Yeah. I, I pick it up and it's just covered in dust and ash. And you give it a little so, shake? Well, yeah. I give it a shake and I think, well, this is no good. I can't serve this to the. To yeah. the uh, and then you Mr. Ryan P. So what do I think? I think, we've got to clean it. And what's close by? The pool. The pool. Oh, <laughs> so that's right. The go, chlorinated pool. I go to the pool and I get this nice bit of wagyu steak <laughs> and I just start rinsing it and like scrubbing it in the pool with my <laughs> hand. <laughs> like you're washing yeah, your hands in yeah. yeah. soap. Yeah, Mitchell's next to me filming it, just laughing his ass off. Bobby's and, just uh, looking over in disgust <laughs> with a smirk on his face. I take it back to the grill and I put it on there and uh, it's, it sizzles. Sizzles. it sizzles. It sizzles. sizzles, dude. The chlorine was going nice. nice. You can smell it in some the air. Some green fumes. Oh, and garnished with some fire starter as well. Oh, Beautiful. yes. Just what you want. Flip the steak. Eventually, the steak is cooked and yeah, uh, yeah we... It's time for plating. It's time for plating. <laughs> it's time for plating. <laughs> now, we had an onion over there burning uh, <laughs> in the fire, oh just, just making sure at that a point whole while you went inside. onion. It was an entire <laughs> onion just chucked into the fire, into the coals, burning. Uh, yeah. Um, and we let that yeah, cook. But, and I guys... also covered it in fire starter fluid. Yeah, yes. it was basically <laughs> cum that, that set on fire. It was yeah. a very thick gel yeah. and it was just, it was retarded. You fucking covered the entire half of it. Uh, yeah. But it... Looked sick. Oh yeah, Swagger just I, walked yeah, in yeah, and I, I stuck it in a fully flaming. Did I stick it on the spear or on something this like on a that, skewer yeah. or something? And I just fucking I said I had the onion. It was still on fire. Yeah. Well, while you were sort of not the onion thing, I had no idea that was happening. I was inside with Jay <laughs> yeah. and a few others, like dead, like very rapidly trying to plate the Serious? steak. Like got the paper towels, like cleaning up the sauce, like cleaning up the plate. I'm running off getting garnishes. He get me. I got some Doritos. I sprinkled them on the steak on the side. <laughs> what else was there? It was like just tomato sauce. Tomato sauce, yeah, sauce like ketchup. ketchup. <laughs> but herbs. Yeah. I don't know what they just were. random herbs just throwing them on the snake yeah. trying to make it look pr professional <laughs> and then swagger walks in with an onion that on, fire. on fire on fire <laughs> covered half of it covered <laughs> in, in in fire starting liquid yes it puts it right on the plate still on, on fire, fire. And, then <laughs> and then ryan blows an alley little birthday candle and digs oh, in and so ryan has funny. no idea about what this dish has gone through yeah. to get to his plate we, we did tell him not to eat the onion <laughs> just just don't just don't touch the onion yeah that fluid probably wouldn't be very tasty no. or good for you no um but he digs into the steak mm. and upon taking the first bite everyone sort of groans because they all know they all know yeah. where it's been yeah. <laughs> he's like whoa what's growing steak he's he's eating. yeah he yeah. went through half of that good. fucking steak he went through half of it yeah I mean all things aside it did look like quite a good bit of steak it oh, really it did so it was cooked to perfection like mm. not gonna lie yeah and then everyone convinced me to take a bite and I cut off like a particularly fatty bit and as soon as yeah. I put it in my mouth I decided to ratchet because yeah. I you I mean, I, I'm, I'm sure that if I didn't know, it would have tasted fine, but I knew what that steak had gone through. Mm -hmm. And so I had to spit it out. That went through hell. Um, and we yeah. all swam in that fucking pool right before too, and I'm pretty sure and I took, I'm pretty sure I took There were Siggy butts in there, dude. There were Siggy butts. <laughs> oh, yeah, because yeah, a couple of oh, the first day, the first day when we, the, the pool was weird. It was like an infinity pool, and then you could get access to the left side and the right side, but the right side was like, separated so you'd have to go around and then up these stairs and mm. then to get to from the right side to the other side you'd have to swim um mason like we all were doing like the tour of the house just checking everything out mason comes up and then he just fucking jumped in and he had his cigarettes on him in his pocket <laughs> and so they were just soggy and falling soggy apart in the pool. Yeah, i didn't know yeah. about that lord you know what we so. should have done is we should have gotten like you know, like those glass uh, things that are used to preserve cakes. So you just put them over the cake. Mm -hmm. We should have gotten Mason to like get a ciggy like and put the smoke in his mouth and then blow it into there and like trap it so that when you release it with the steak underneath, like oh. it's like a professional dish. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> the the ciggy smoke just goes everywhere. Sick smoke, yeah. dude. Oh, no. <laughs> we know that for next that time. Yikes. Arsenic bon appetit. Mwah. <laughs> 
delicious. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Moi. Um, Ratatouille theme. Thankfully, like... <laughs> <laughs> thankfully, after that spectacle was over, we... Uh, well, Ryan was preparing like a backup roast, I mm-hmm. think. So yeah. we actually had some dinner besides fucking rank yeah. fire pit sauces. Yeah, that Because I went to bed. It wasn't. A, uh, it was actually lit. Yeah, it was like fucking two a.m. or like one a.m. <laughs> he forever. fucking two a.m. He, he, he put the roast on rotisserie. What he tried to do, he also had two chickens, um, and he tried putting all three so that it was chicken and then pork roast and then chicken. Yep. But he stuck the skewer through the sides and like the ribs of the chicken, mm-hmm. and then when it started to rotate, uh, the chickens just stayed still, and the and the thing was just <laughs> rotating <laughs> really? in it. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Just so looked gross. it uh, looked fucking soggy disgusting. Chicken. Uh, so Ew. they had to take it out and replay it. And Bobby and his and, and I think it was Bobby and Manuel were playing tennis yeah. for like a good 30 minutes while it was on the spit. Yeah. And I walk out and the fucking roast is on fire. Yeah. Like it's actually burning. It, like it was so <laughs> close to the coals that the fucking thing was just lighting up with the fat. And uh, and I'm like, holy shit, it's on fire. And then Ryan runs out. He's like, oh my God, it's on fire. And he puts it out. And he's like, what the fuck, Bobby? You, you saw it the whole time. Why don't you say it? And Bobby was like, I was too into the game. Bobby probably thought it was how it was supposed to be done. He was like, he oh, was it's so fucking bad. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, everyone was pretty just yeah. fucked this whole time. The entire trip, we were all just smoking it on the piss except for so, you of course so while that was being prepared uh well, you know a few of us got in the pool and then everyone got out and it was just sam and i left right and we were just chilling in the pool chatting having a really nice wholesome chat mm. about life and stuff and then we're like ah oh, let's go inside uh no actually, actually i think ryan comes out and everyone had already gone to bed and ryan yeah. had come out i was to fully see, asleep he was just he had come out to just like walk around for a bit he goes how long have you guys been out here and we're like, I don't know, since everyone got in the pool. And he goes, you guys have had dinner, right? And w- nobody told us that the roast was ready. Uh, so we missed out on the food. Uh, and we're like, oh, fuck. And Ryan goes, oh, there's some like party pies in the freezer. Just go make some <laughs> of those. Oh, so this. we walk in and we're like, all right, you know, kind of keep some party pies. They'll go hard right now. <laughs> party Sam, pies are Sam, just meat pies, right? Yeah, they're just little mini pies. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Sam opens the oven. And I think through turning on the oven, I think that was like too much power. Oh, actually, Too no, that's not power. what happened. But anyway, Sam opens the oven. Every single light in the house off. Every single oh, that's appliance what did it. in the I house. I was asleep at this point. Oh. Yeah. I wasn't no, bad. it wasn't what did it because we found out later that it was like every house on the street. Oh, just a coincidence. But we were sitting there like, what the fuck? It's the so dark. Went out. And, and Fitz, the whole trip had been saying... I'm telling you, at some point, the owners are going to come in and they're going to hunt us and eat us. Yeah, because it just felt like one of those places where they just <laughs> they bring a lot of people into this nice little yeah, fancy resort yeah. and they fatten them up and then they eat them like cannibal style. Yeah. Is it called, I mean, it it was, isn't that based off of a, of a book called like the, the the Ultimate Game or something? Yeah, there's a book, but I haven't read that. I've only seen the Simpsons episode that ripped it yeah. off. Oh. <laughs> that's that, what was in my mind the whole time. So that's all the read. power goes out and we're like, we're about to be eaten by the owners. Yeah. You know, obviously, obviously just fucking playing into yeah, it for the yeah, content yeah. and for fun. Yeah. So we're running around the house, like being like, holy shit, we're going to, we're about to get Dude. eaten. We need to do something. We need to find but, the power box. But just stuff. for, just for context, we're literally in the middle of nowhere and without any light. And it is, there, there's no moon because the, the, the entire sky is filled with dark rain yeah, clouds. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. pissing down rain. It's like a scene out of Silent Hill. There's fog in the distance. There was thunder as well. And yeah, it was, it was, so it was fucking, fucking amazing because there were, uh, there, there were the spears and then there were these trench coats that were out front. Uh, by the front door. And so I put on the ski mask and the trench coat and I grabbed a spear <laughs> and I sat in the dark for like maybe 10 minutes in a corner so that my pupils could dilate so I could see in the dark better than everyone else. And I just Jesus. started s- started lurking around, fucking fox stepping with my with my socks, going into corners. And Sam was, was just walking around with the flashlight. So I'd be going out of doors and then around the house and then into another spot and I'd stay there for like five, ten minutes until Sam would walk by and then shine his torch on me and I'd just be staring at him. <laughs> and he and he would literally go, he would freeze like that and go, Oh you fuck <laughs> you fuck, you fucking and he had to like kneel. That's so I, funny. I kept getting people. I kept scaring the shit yeah, out of you people. Yeah, you guys were legit like screaming and stuff. Oh, but we were just having fantastic. the best time. Dude, I know, but like I was in my bed because I had no idea what was going on. And I had that like anxiety. I pulled my blanket up to my like <laughs> neck and I'm just like, am I going to live? Like, yeah, I, was, I was the same because I heard the power go out. Yeah, and then yeah. I'm like, what the fuck was that? And five minutes later, and I'm thinking like, okay, we're getting eaten. Like, yeah, surely. Yeah, yeah. Five <laughs> minutes later, I just sat here like, yeah. <laughs> 
We were running around just like uh, the piano screaming and, and laughing oh, like it psychopaths. Great. It was so funny. Bumping into shit. I remember what we, uh, because we literally had no light, we, we tried to find the box, which we ended up doing, and we flipped the, the breaker switches and they weren't working. Mm. Oh and so Ryan God. was like, dude, somebody actually cut the power. <laughs> like, someone's going to, like, this, this is really weird. And then I, what happened? We 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 went back into the main the main house mm. in the in the main hall, and there was a big old fireplace, and we actually made a fire, which was pretty cool. Oh, good one! And That's then uh, and then who was it? Took the fucking DiGiorno's pizza out of the out of the well, freezer. Well, before that, before that, there was this little pot hanging above the fire, and we oh, were like, all right. and Rich was like throwing popcorn kernels at the fire, and I was like, no, fill the pot with popcorn yeah. and a little and, bit of oil and, and it'll look sick when it like overflows into yeah, the fire it'll look really cool it didn't work didn't no, <laughs> but, so. what, ended, what ended up what ended up happening was the fire got really really hot and there was maybe like half like maybe two bags of popcorn kernels in it and so the bottom popped and then just burned and then the entire thing went up like a fucking tornado fire oh, storm. Shit. Oh yeah. And it was just oh, and it was shit. the pot caught fire. complete fire. Yeah. And it, we had to let it burn off, but I looked at it in the morning, dude, it was disgusting, completely <laughs> filled so with fucked. with carbon. Just absolute charcoal. Well, we were definitely the worst guests this Airbnb oh, ever had. Well, I mean, and well, they had cameras well, everywhere. Well, immediately so. after that, I think, was it Chris or Manuel? I think it might have been Manuel that, that grabbed an entire large Hawaiian DiGiorno's pizza that was in the freezer, <laughs> took it out and threw it on the fire. And it just, <laughs> and he goes, all right, we're cooking some pizza. And it just went up in flames. Yeah, It, was, it just it added just a fuel. plopped on top and it was, coated the wood. It completely oh. added to the fuel. Yeah, there you go. Fucking in the morning, it wasn't there. It, it was just turned crazy. to ash. It just it just went up into the atmosphere. The atmosphere is now like zero point zero 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 one percent pizza. Or it distracted the cannibal, and he was like, "Gonna he eat us." The pizza. And then he noticed oh. the pizza. He's like, "Oh, oh does he eat that?" Shit. Oh. So he saved us. The Holy pizza shit! Saved little decoy. Us. The pizza. Anyway, Dude. next day, what happened the next day? The next Firefox. day, I walk out I mean, into Firefox. the kitchen, and the oven's on, and really? I was like, "Holy oh, shit, shit! This place got burnt down." <laughs> I thought one of you left the oven yes. on. Imagine it that. was it was when you guys were doing the party pies. So because yeah. because yeah. the power turned back on, the oven must have turned it back hot on. Hot as yeah. fuck in there. I was like, what? Holy the, the shit! Oven was on. Wow. Yeah. We are so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it wasn't my fault, but fuck, we're dumb. But what did we do that that day? This in the what? flying well, fox. Flying, oh, the yeah, flying. flying there was the flying fox. So that was actually the second day. Matt tried going down the the zip line. But he uh, he fumbled it and it broke and and the zip line was pretty shitty. It was meant for like kids. Yeah, it was bound mm. to break so, either way. Yeah, we he, had he a, jumped on it basically, and the rope that was attached to the zip line just snapped. Yeah. Yeah. So we had a he had to buy a pulley and new rope from Bunnings, and then he came back and he managed to make his way across. I had to t- tie um, a water bottle to a string and then throw it over to get uh, the, it, the line to reset. It was so there was this pond in between the flying fox, and there was like a big hill. And they were on one side, and then there was like Fitz Mitchell and I and a couple other people that were on the other side. <laughs> and we were just shouting shit at them. <laughs> yeah. It was right. so funny watching Swagger throw this bottle and try and hook it over the thing. Like, I'm sure it was difficult. No, I tried, oh, I, tried, so I, tried I tried a rock, like two different rocks, and, and then I kept fucking up. And then I was like, ooh, water bottle. I just put the string in, I tie the cap, and I throw it over, and then... Move it up, and it took like maybe five attempts. Survival Andy. <laughs> There's, on the every job. time he does something like that, I always think he, he you're just like, I could survive in the wild, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm fucking MacGyver, dude. You can't piss without people uh, <laughs> with people staring. At you. <coughs> yeah. uh, you, you, you do you do fine. You do fine. Yeah, yeah, you do fine. Okay. Yeah, you do fine. Yeah, you do fine. Um, yeah, well, eventually on that next day, we got the flying fox working. We mm. we bought a new pulley th- system yeah. from Bunnings and uh, attached it. And next thing you know, Matt's fucking there Matt's sailing. Soaring. Down. He's ready to go. Yeah. Ready Almost to go. got stuck in the middle of the pond, which is what we were all hoping for. Yeah. yeah so yes. we yeah, were like, to be in peak content. So you... everyone, uh, we got. I think it was Chris was like hanging on the other end of the flying fox to kind of give it some mm. tension. And then while while he was over the pond, I was like, jump off, and mm. he, he he let go. Yeah, let's go. Matt started slowing down, so losing close. speed, <laughs> and then. And then he was like, yeah, give me a hand, give me a hand. I grab him by the legs and I start pushing him back out. <laughs> I actually had that on uh, on my phone, that video of that. It was so funny. It was a real scramble, man. It was it was disappointing. I, it wanted, was to see him, I wanted to see him go in that crock infested one. It just would have been... Like, even 
like we could have saved him. It just would have been so funny yeah. if it he stopped way directly better. above the pond. Mason the whole time was so freaking good. out about it. I thought he was gonna drown, dude. It was yeah. like the water was like he, he this was, deep. He was worried about uh, the pond, uh, the bottom of the pond being covered in. You said mulch, mulch, mulch. mulch. And I'm pretty sure what we figured out that mulch just isn't what you think it is. Isn't mulch like compost, but for yeah, trees and leaf it's matter? Like, it's like wood chips. Yeah, like. But he, he was <laughs> so basically Mason said no fucking idea well, what he was he talking was, about. He was worried. About, I think about the sludge yeah, at the, at the yeah. bottom and he it, thought yeah. that he would have gotten stuck and drowned or whatever in but. theory fair enough concern I suppose but it was, was very just, unlikely that he was pretty know. fucking high up I was yeah, worried was that fine. if he fell he'd fucking break his ankles yeah, yeah. Mm. but he didn't he no, did. unfortunately no, no. Matt didn't Survived. commit he didn't commit to the bit and he didn't fall off for the boys so yeah. what an yeah. idiot what a loser <laughs> it ended up just being like a slightly slow peaceful trip across the land. Yeah, that's the thing. Was it, it was funny, though. It, it was, was so funny. much build-up. And then it was just, oh, yeah, he successfully yeah, yeah. came across. Speaking yeah. of build-up. It was up. kind of disappointing. What, what do you mean, speaking of build-up? What? Speaking of build-up, do we want to talk about the last night? What happened on the last night? Where we decided to do a nice... Oh, actually, I think... Should we Should we talk about it? The well, trip I, to I, the I, casino? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh no! Because no. <laughs> I feel like if we spoil that, it's like... Yeah, no. No. Nah, I think it's not not we need, we'll save that for the vlog because okay. that's the best was, bit of content it was ever. It All right. It's such a good bit of content. You guys will figure it out yeah. in a Ooh. bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and on that night, I think that what really was the cherry on top of that entire trip was that frog. Yes, the Finding frog. Finding the oh, frog. I still miss That's him. That's such so a sad story. We had gotten back from, where, where were we? I think we went up to Gold Coast for a dinner. And then we went back down to uh, Byron Bay. And it was it was dark at night. Everyone was going uh, into their respective houses for the night. And I walked by and there's a thing croaking mm. just to the right. And I was like, oh, I hear a frog. I wonder if I could see it. And I turn on the flashlight. And there's just this fucking massive green tree frog. The yeah, biggest he was fucking a big frog boy. I've ever it's seen. The beautif- most beautiful most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. I was like, holy fuck, it's a frog. And so I walk over to it with the flashlight and I pick it up. And it's so chill. And I'm just playing with this frog. I'm showing it to everybody. Manuel is deathly afraid of <laughs> reptiles, <laughs> amphibians, so anything just, slimy. Just any wildlife, it seems. <laughs> really, and I and I just went up to him. I was like, hey, there's a frog. Took it out. He was fucking pissing himself. He was yeah. running away, like, get that shit away from me. <laughs> and then you came up, and I said, look at the frog, look at the frog. And then it was content central. Yeah. So, well, you were hanging on. You were very uh, clingy with the frog. I was, I was yeah. getting jealous. I was like, come on, stop hogging the frog. Let me have yeah, the frog. I was hogging Let the frog. Let me frog. And then, I found him. He was yeah, you baby. fair enough, fair enough. But I just wanted the frog. But they had, like, a really good <laughs> connection yeah, yeah. Well, immediately me and the frog connected in the i mean you put him on my head didn't you i did and that's man. sort of where you just came to stay i reckon just for a, <laughs> until for a good hour on, until, <laughs> until he jumped off that's when i serenaded him yes yes. We, yes i had him on my head for like an actual whole hour just walking around just like enjoying the company and then we went inside and sat down the piano still frog on head i honestly nice reckon song. i reckon if you kissed it it would have turned into a princess <sighs> maybe 100 percent. or i would have just gotten severely fucked up by frog <laughs> yeah. either way it works <laughs> yeah just is, what, it fr- is it frogs or just toads that have the psychedelic or certain toads it's certain toads yeah. in like mexico tijuana i think I probably the know. boys do a toad trip sometimes <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, that shit's fucking five in the o dmt get fucked yeah, true. i'm not we'll I'm wait till 35 wait till 35 45 that was a nice little <laughs> after love the, story after, after the kids are in college you won't be saying that at 35 um <laughs> that's that's pretty much everything that happened in queensland but yeah speaking of dmt Mason and I, uh, Mason came over to me one day, a couple of days ago, and he says, I want to get a tattoo today. And I was, yeah. like, I was like, all right, what do you want to get? <laughs> and he's like, I want to get something on my knuckles. He, he, want, he wanted to get his brother's name on yeah. his knuckles. And I was standing there like, you, you want to get a name on your knuckles? That's a little like gangy, isn't it? Uh, of, granted, the way it came out is not gangy at all. Yeah. It's just really cute and wholesome. It's pretty sweet. Yeah. Uh, Show the camera. I was, I was worried it was going to be like real hard and like almost like jail like tat looking. Like gothic font. Like. Yeah. 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 Comic Sans. Yeah. Right Comic Sans. But uh, so, so we go to the tattoo parlor and Mason asked to get his tattoo done. And then I was sitting there and they had this little little gumball machine. And it had those little capsules that you get when you're a kid where it's like you put a dollar in, spin it, you get your capsule and whatever toys inside is what you get. But it was filled with little drawings and each drawing was a tattoo. And I was like, well, I can't mm. say no to this. Mm. <laughs> give them give them 80 bucks, spin my little thing, get a little frog, a little crab. I already talked about this, but, <laughs> the, but the bit the bit that um the, the bit that is to do with DMT, the guy at the tattoo parlor was just 
uh, we, I was telling him about the podcast and like yeah. telling him that we, you know, make talk about like drug stories and shit. And he goes, you know, DMT is incredible. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, you know, you see, you see all these beings, you see an octopus, you'll always see an octopus. <laughs> he's like, and you'll, you'll always see an octopus and you'll always see these, um, these little elves, which everyone fucking says everyone they see sees elves, the elves, dude. <laughs> Machine elves. Yeah, but DMT sounds fucking hectic. That to, sounds so said, scary. And he said, "Never chase DMT. Let it come to you." Yeah. Why? Well, just oh, as words. in, don't he set said, out to do it. Just do it yeah. when it comes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, just walk around with your tongue out. Well, no, it's, not, it's not a tab, is it? It's a. No. It's like a. You hit it like a bomb. You, uh, you either vaporize it, or you eat uh, it. you eat it cat it, it, shelve it i swear i've seen a video it, of some it, guy it, doing it almost out of a bong or, it, or am i wrong yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Well. you, you yeah. could do that uh, what some people do is that they'll pack dmt underneath weed or like sandwich it in between Ooh. weed so that it, it it vaporizes properly i don't know i people my friend dave used to crank <laughs> pipe my friend dave i uh, snorted it you don't snort free base dmt it, I'm, I'm it degrades the mucosa membranes mm. in your in your sinuses and you'll be Sneezing out blood for two weeks. Jesus. Was yeah. he sneezing out blood for two weeks? I'm convinced ah. there's nothing your friend Dave hasn't done. Oh, dude, he broke open a bottle of Benzidrex and drank that shit. Uh, <laughs> what does that even mean? I don't even so know. Holy ben, shit. Benzidrex. This was in the middle <laughs> this was in the middle of uh, of, a, of a blizzard at, at my college I attended. And, my friend Dave. <laughs> and I'm so, with my friend Dave. So I'm walking to 7-Eleven to get something to eat, and I see Dave walking with a couple of my <laughs> friends, and it is blizzarding out. It is snowing pretty yeah. hard. I have fucking four layers on. Shirt, hoodie, jacket, and then a huge coat, hat, gloves, the whole yeah. shebang. It's fucking nuts. And I'm going out. Dave's just in shorts and a shirt walking Shit. around, and I was like, Dave, are you fucking cold? I was like, what the fuck? Why are you? He was steaming. And I was like, I was like, are you cold? And he go, and he's like, oh no, dude, I went to Walgreens, I, I bought some Benzodrax, and I and I broke it open and and drank it. I was like, well, what the fuck is Benzodrax? He goes, oh, it's like a medication. It 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 helps clear up your respiratory system. But if you if you if you break it open and drink the liquid inside of it, then uh, it'll metabolize in your stomach uh, as as methamphetamine. And I was like. You're on, you're on meth, Dave? And he was like, he was like yeah, yeah I, need to, I need to study. As if it's that readily available in the store. <laughs> what, yeah. the fuck? what the fuck? Yeah, no. This what? should be classified information. Well, so you can, yeah. Is it a, the same high as a meth high if you I smoke have it? no idea. Guys, Surely don't, not. don't fucking do it, Dave. <laughs> I would <laughs> not do it. <laughs> Your friend Dave needs to begin a tutorial channel, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have a, I love uh, you, Dave. I have a theory, guys. What's I have up? a theory. Uh, <laughs> you know how when people have an embarrassing story, Right, mm, like yeah. you're the doctor or something, and they're like, "I want to ask you about something, but I don't want you to know that I did it." Yeah, I think my friend Dave <laughs> is <gasps> Swagger's way of oh. talking about the shit he's embarrassed of. Okay? <laughs> this not he cool. is no, his just, friend uh, Dave. <laughs> Swagger <laughs> is his friend Dave. Uh, so my friend <laughs> Dave got caught jacking off once. Swagger's <laughs> actually just got multiple personality disorder. Yeah. And he genuinely believes that he has a friend Dave, but it's really just him, like in a yeah, different yeah, mindset, yeah. just Dude. doing fuck shit all the time. Oh my god, this changes uh, everything. Obviously, that's not I, true, guys. Swagger hasn't done meth. I don't okay. know. If, I don't know if, uh, <laughs> if your friend Dave is as famous on the podcast as he is in our friend group but for those of you who don't know swagger regularly begins stories by saying so my friend dave and i or my friend dave like you have a million stories about your buddy dave yeah when dave, do we get him on the yeah, show when is dave on dave the needs to come on the podcast you reckon dave yeah i mean if you think it'd be he, good he or keen for it then... stories apparently um well, we'd have to go down to that area if we were if we were to do that we'll, we'll probably have we'll to censor him. him too wouldn't we probably not no no we'll just no. get him to wear an identical outfit to you with the chain mail and battle club you know who we would have to censor Who's that? Uh, we want to get uh, Ryan and I were talking about it. We want to get the drug dealer, a uh, drug podcast, dealer, because he is so interesting. Yeah. I was talking to him the other day. He like runs businesses and stuff. <laughs> he's just so fascinating. He's, yeah. oh, he's a fucking sketchy fella. Yeah, <laughs> I think he's just a. I don't think from he's that sketchy. <laughs> he's a good guy. He must be real sketchy. Yeah. I don't think he's. He looks very well put together. He gives us drugs. I don't see the problem here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he's that sketchy. I think he's just a chill dude. Who is he's a bit he's smart. a bit older, so I reckon you know it might be a little bit harder to relate with us. He's from Geelong, mm, is that is what he? you think oh, he's sketchy? Okay, can we say that? <laughs> sure. 
Probably. I don't think there's a lot of cunts there's in the There's a lot of, there's <laughs> a lot yeah. of, a lot of sketchy cunts. There's a lot of sketchy cunts. He just blends in, mate. I think he's a drug dealer from Geelong. Well, which one? You know, that's, yeah, the, that's the next exactly. question you ask. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right. Well, is that wrap up our, our trip to the Gold Coast? Is there anything else that we've left out? I reckon, I, I, I reckon for the most part, it does. Anything that we left out will be in the video. Which yep. will be, I think, a fantastic video. I hope I, so. I, I we don't want to overhype, but I think it's a good one. It'll be good. Yeah. Is there anything anyone else wants to bring up? We're at an hour. We can cl- we can end now if we want. But. Um, day three of quitting cigarettes. Hey, hey. Woo, that's Rats. a massive dub. Surely by the time this podcast comes out, you're still off them. I reckon Let's you can see. do it. You're I on like a good momentum it. right now, man. It's good I to don't see. Know, I think I'm going through withdrawals at the moment. Yeah, I can yeah. tell you're a little. You know, like, I'm just either. like dozy, like just feel a bit dull and shit. You know, like, that's you got this, man. You got Once this. you break through the withdrawals, it'll be a million times. But I haven't yeah. worn a patch yet today. Hey, mm. so that's like huge. That's yeah. a massive dub. Yeah. Congrats. Congrats, man. All right. You got so this, bruh. To yeah. end off the show, we're going to LA and Boston for yes. our tours, our yep. live shows, a live podcast. Come see us. Come Matt see will the be there. Matt will be there. Matt will tell all about where he's and been. And it's crazy. You, you want to be there because it's going to be the first time Matt's been on a podcast in like yeah. fucking ages. Well, so he was on the podcast. He hasn't even told us other than that one yeah, time. One time. Yeah. yeah. So clearly it's going to be a clusterfuck. Yeah. Yeah. So Boston, LA, <laughs> do we know the dates? Uh, I don't know. They're, they're on the website. Hands. They're on the website. Know. Misfits.tours. The Boston yeah. one is during, is during PAX East. During PAX East. Yeah. Very, very soon, guys. It's coming up in, in, in two weeks or so. So fucking fucking buy, buy tickets. them. Snatch buy them tickets. tickets. I, want, I want to see you. Be there. Or so, be square. Be, be, be fucking square. <laughs> yeah, we'll all crack our knuckles together again and go yes. viral. It'll be lit. Thank you very much for listening to the podcast, guys. Yeah, Check so out gamersups.gg. Gamersups. Buy our merch on scuff.store. I'm wearing some right now. The United Nations shirts, lit. they're underrated. They are the, they are so comfy and very high quality. And that is that is what, what uh, the, the stitching, right? Yes, That's it's embroidered in, on the front. Embroidered. Affordable it's price. Very nice. So, Affordable. Very good. nice. High right. quality. Right. Thanks for listening, guys. We love you so much. We'll see you next time. Bye. We pimp chimping. <laughs> Cut that out. <laughs> <laughs>